Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have received a few comments asking me to give some detailed review or some information about the accommodation at the University of Manchester. And so today I will be giving you a complete summary to all 19 accommodations at the University of Manchester. <music> So I have made a summary list here and we'll be talking about the name of the accommodation, the campus that it is on, the rooms, whether it's like singles or en suites or shared bathrooms, students, um, like who can apply because some of them are only for undergraduate, some of them for postgraduate and some of them for both. And then we have the price, which is per week. And then we have catering. Some are self-catered, some are catered, and also their proximity to the campus. So first off, I would like to talk a little bit about the campus first because there's actually three campus in the University of Manchester. The first one is the city campus, the second one is the Fallowfield campus, and the third one is Victoria Park. So the city campus is actually like the core university campus is where the famous University of Manchester building is. It's also where a lot of the lecture halls, a lot of the facilities of different courses are located. And if you're living close to that, that's actually the best choice if you want to catch a few more minutes of sleep. So the Fallowfield campus is much to the south. It's actually around 2.5 kilometers away from the university campus, like the main campus. But it is actually a very suburban, like residential area. So you're actually in that community. And it's also close to the Armitage Center, which is like a sports center. So you can actually have access to a lot of sports facility if you're like a sporty person. Victoria Park campus is actually kind of in between the Fallowfield campus and the city campus and it's much more quieter. It's closer to like parks and green spaces and it's also quite accessible as well so it also is quite a good choice. I will try to give a summary of each accommodation in under a minute so you will have all the information you need in just under like 20 minutes because there's like 19 accommodations. We're going to talk about the accommodation in the city campus first and then Fallowfield and then last Victoria Park. So the first one on the list is Denmark Road and that's kind of like the most luxurious accommodation that I've seen. And it's both for undergraduate and postgraduate. It is in a city campus, so it has single rooms and it's basically all on suites. So that means you have your own toilet. And then it's also self-catered. It's really close to the university, which is about 0 0.5 miles away, which is 11 minutes by walking, 3 minutes by cycling, and 9 minutes by bus. And you're really close to like the park, Whitworth Park, Whitworth Gallery. You're really close to the student union. You're really close to like grocery stores like Morrison's and Sainsbury's. So it's a pretty good location. The only thing is it costs about £173 per week. So it costs more than around £600 per month. And that could be quite tight. Second on the list is George Canyon Hall. So this is only for postgraduates. So only if you're going to University of Manchester and search for a postgraduate degree, you can apply to this accommodation. If you're an undergraduate, then you have to consider other options. And this campus, uh, this accommodation is in the city campus and it's only like 0 0.1 mile away from the university campus, which is basically like next to it. And if you, you know, are a person who likes to sleep a lot more, then this might be a good choice for you. And then it's single rooms with ensuite bathrooms. So you have your own bathrooms, which is good. It's self-catered and it costs 162 pounds per week, which is slightly less than Denmark Road. So this Accommodation is in um, a flat of six, so you have your own room and your own bathroom, but all the kitchen and common areas are shared with another five people in your own flat, and uh, you have dedicated study areas and plenty of storage space as well. Next up, we have Horniman House. This one is kind of a special case, so it's also just for postgraduate, um, but yeah, so if you're undergraduate, you have to apply for other accommodation and it is in a city campus and this is like the prime location because right under like at the ground floor of your accommodation you have Sainsbury, you have Costa, you have Morrison's so basically grocery shopping and like breakfast or coffee it's like 
a done deal. So it's en suite and this is the special case. It has it comes with single rooms, but it also comes with couple rooms. So for example, if you have um, a partner or if you have a child, I think this is the only accommodation that you can apply to where they're allowed to maybe stay with you. Uh, yeah, it's self-catered as well. It's 0.3 miles away from the campus, but it costs 219 pounds per week. So it's definitely a lot more than the accommodation we previously talked about. Next up is Western Hall. So Western Hall is open to both undergraduate students and postgraduate students. So you can apply to it whether which part you are in. So it's also situated in the city campus. It's actually quite close to the city center. It's kind of in the middle of the university campus and also the city center. So it's within walkable distances towards both sides if you want to you know, save time going out to the city or going to class. Um, it, offers single rooms with ensuite bathrooms. It's self-catered and it's 0.7 miles away from the campus, which is around 40 minutes of walking, which is quite a good amount of exercise. It's 160 pounds per week and it is in bedrooms and each flat contains around eight students and you have plenty of storage room and big desks for studying as well. Last on the list of the city campus accommodation is Woodworth Park. So this is the accommodation that I stayed in in my first year and I absolutely love it because it is so central, it's so close to the campus, there's everything I need and the price is not like I don't have to sell my liver for that which is great. So Woodworth Park is open to both undergraduate students and postgraduate students and it is in the city campus. It is single rooms but then you don't have ensuite bathrooms, you have to share the bathrooms and you know kitchen spaces and common spaces and it's also like a mixed flat. Um, the year that I stayed in it was nine people per flat and there's like both genders in there so you don't get to choose which you know girl or boy you're gonna stay in but I think some of the houses have like single sex um, arrangements. Um, it's also self-catered. It's 0.4 miles away from the campus, which is really, really close by. The reason why I like Woodworth Park so much is because there are a lot of different houses within this Woodworth Park accommodation. And there's this organization called Rest Life, which is kind of accommodating to the needs of the accommodation students. And they have lots of events going on, like their movie nights, their like boba nights, and they have this place where you can do laundry and hang out with different friends and like and study as well so it's like a really nice place it only costs around 115 pounds per week this is because you don't have to share uh you don't have your own bathroom but i think the price is quite a good deal Moving on to the accommodation at Fallowfield campus the first one is called ashburn hall so this hall is actually open to both undergraduate and postgraduate as well. It is in the Fallfield campus and then it is single rooms and it is shared bathrooms just like Woodworth Park. It's catered so this is the first catered accommodation that we're talking about and I haven't tried catered accommodation before but I have friends who did so I'm just basically quoting them. So they only serve like a breakfast um, and lunch or dinner so it's just like two meals per day and my friends they don't usually stay for the meals they just take some of the food and go like they said the, the good deal is that they have free fruits every day not te not free technically but like fruits every day which is healthy um yeah it's 2.3 miles away from campus though which is quite far if you want to walk to the main campus it's around 28 minutes but if you cycle it's around 14 minutes and if you take the bus it's about 10 minutes so this is around 163 pounds per week and it's actually quite nice looking at the photos um, bedroom sizes may vary a little bit but overall you have all the essentials like the desk a bed and wardrobe etc next up is oak house so oak house here is open to undergraduate students only it is in the Fellfield campus it uh, offers single rooms but all of them are shared like Woodworth Park um, so you have to share bathrooms you have to share the kitchen uh, it's also self-catered it's 1.8 miles away from the campus which is pretty far it's 37 minutes by walking 9 minutes by cycling and 80 minutes by bus it's 111 pounds per week which is 
kind of, I think, the lowest price range in all these accommodations. So I actually visited a friend who lived in Oak House before, and I think their kitchens are really, really small and they're common areas um, compared to Woodworth Park, where it is actually a three separate floors and the kitchen is on the very top floor, so you have all the space you need. So, uh, yeah, it is a mixed sex accommodation as well similar to Woodworth Park. It's around eight students per flat and you can have parties from time to time. Usually foul field campus accommodation holds the best parties. Next on the list is Richmond Park. So Richmond Park is only open to undergraduate students. It's in the Fallfield campus, yes. It offers single rooms with ensuite bathrooms so you don't have to share bathrooms with anyone. It is self-catered and it is 1.8 miles away from campus. So as you can see, the Fallfield campus is actually located quite far away from the main campus. So if you walk, it's 36 minutes, but if you take the bus, it's around 20 minutes. So this accommodation is around 160 pounds per week. And it is in a flat of eight. So you will be sharing the flat with another seven flatmates. You will be sharing the kitchen and common areas. And it is some opportunity, some good opportunity to meet up with some new friends. So we have Chavine House. So Chavine House is open to undergraduate students only. It's situated in the Fallowfield campus. It offers single rooms with ensuite bathrooms. You don't have to share. And then it is self-catered. And this one is actually quite unique as well. It has adapted accommodation available. So if you're in a wheelchair or if you need extra assistance and uh, it's offered in this accommodation. It is 1.5 miles away from the campus so it's around 31 minutes of walking, 15 minutes by bus. It's 160 pounds per week and you have quite a spacious room. It's all usually single beds apart from Denmark Road which is actually a double bed although it says single room it's a double bed so it's kind of luxurious and nice. Up, we have Unsworth Park, and this is very, very cool. It's a very new accommodation. When I when I visited my friend there, it kind of feels like a new Woodworth, uh, Denmark Road to me. So this open to undergraduate students. Uh, it's situated at the Fallowfield campus. It offers single rooms with ensuite bathrooms. It is also self catered. It's one point nine miles away from the campus, so thirty nine minutes by walking and 22 minutes by bus. It costs about £171 per week. This is just directly opposite to the Armitage Center, which is a sports center of University of Manchester. So you have like direct access to like gym facilities and it's very convenient. Um, it actually offers, wow, 1,100 bedrooms in this whole accommodation. I actually did not know that but you'll be sharing the room with around four or five other people and it has like a spacious kitchen it has a spacious common area there's tvs in the common areas in, the, in each flat so it's actually a very nice living standard very nice accommodation next up on fallowfield campus is called utley house i've never heard of this accommodation or seen this accommodation before so it must be quite tucked away from the usual route i take um, it's open to undergraduate and postgraduate students, so you can apply. Uh, it's on the Valfield campus, yes, and then it provides single rooms with ensuite bathrooms. It's self-catered, and it also provides adapted accommodation, which is good. It is 1.9 miles away from the campus, so it's 38 minutes by walking, 90 minutes by bus. It costs £153 per week. And it offers an ensuite single bedroom for students who enjoy a more moderate lifestyle. Yeah, it has quite a nice view towards the garden, as I can see here on the website. Last on the list of the Fallowfield campus accommodation is called Wilton Hall. So it's open to both undergraduate and postgraduate students. It's actually on a pretty nice leafy ground field so it's pretty much green space which is good for your mental health when you're dealing with all the stress from uni yeah uh, it's on the Fallfield campus as i said it provides single rooms with shared bathrooms so there are no en suites here unfortunately uh this is a catered accommodation 
and then it's 1.9 miles away from campus so it's 38 minutes by walking and 19 minutes by bus it's um, 164 pounds per week and I'm assuming all these prices that they're, they're giving us uh, whether it says catered or not catered is actually inclusive of the food if it says catered or not inclusive of the food if it says self-catered so it's actually a pretty good deal if they provide you with food and it's 164 pounds per week the rooms are quite large so you have a lot of storage space and you will be sharing bathrooms with your flatmates and kitchen uh, and it's like a small kitchen or common area too but you will have your own wash basin which is good for brushing your teeth on to the Victoria Park campus accommodation. So the first one on the list is called Brook Hall. So it is open to undergraduate students and you can apply. Um, so it's on the Victoria Park campus. It's a self-catering hall. So if you cook your own food, they work in partnership with the owner called Unite. So the university accommodation actually works with different kind of accommodation companies. Uh, so they sometimes offer different kind of activities for different students living in the accommodation. So it offers single rooms with ensuite bathrooms. It's self-catered, but this is closer to the campus. As you can see, it's only 0 0.8 miles away from the campus, 16 minutes by walking and 13 minutes by bus. And it costs around £164 per week. Next on the list with Burkhardt House. So it's only open to undergraduate students. It is in the Victoria Park campus. It offers single rooms with ensuite bathrooms, so you don't have to share. Um, and then it's self-catering, so you have to cook your own food. And it's just 0 0.8 miles away from campus. So similarly, it's just 15 minutes of walking, 12 minutes of bus, and it's around 160 pounds per week. I would say Victoria Park campuses are pretty good in general if you want to be close to both the campus and also the more um, bar area and fallow field but i would be cautious about staying out late and then going back because it's really quiet in these areas so and it's really dark as well so it's good to you know um, go out in groups or you know call a friend when you're walking home to make sure you're safe Third on this campus is Canterbury Court. So one of my friends stayed at Canterbury Court and it's actually a pretty nice room. Only thing I don't like is the location which is quite far away and I am a big sleeper. So I prioritize like location <laughs> over anything else. It is a nice environment if you appreciate the quietness and the greenery, but I prefer convenience over everything. So anyway, this is open to undergraduate students. Uh, it offers single rooms with ensuite bathrooms. It is all self-catered as well, and there's adapted accommodation available. It's 1.3 miles away from the campus, so 26 minutes by walking or 17 minutes by bus. So this is actually a way from the main road and you, you might have to take two buses or take a bus and then walk um, a portion of the road unlike in fallow field where it's also located on the main road oxford road oxford street oxford road and then you can just take one bus and it'll take you straight to university campus so this is 160 pounds per week and you will be sharing it with around 10 uh people in that flat it's also a mixed sex accommodation next we have daisy bank hall so i stayed here for a night or two before moving to whitworth park for my first year it's quite a quiet environment very serene and tranquil good for studying uh, it's open to undergraduate and postgraduate students, so they offer single rooms with ensuite bathrooms. It's pretty spacious, so you have plenty of storage space. It's self-catered and is around 1.2 miles away from the campus, so 24 minutes by walking, 19 minutes by bus, and it's £167 per week. I think they offer deals with um, the stagecoach bus pass, so might keep an eye out for extra money saved and then we have Dalton Ellis Hall so this is quite a historic building it is open to undergraduates only and it's also in the Victoria Park campus they offered single rooms and there is a block which offers ensuite 
but other than that, all of them are shared bathrooms. It's catered, so you don't have to cook your own food. It's 1.1 mile away from a campus, so 22 minutes by walking, 12 minutes by bus, and it's 162 pounds per week. But the rooms are quite small, as you can see here. It's just a narrow corridor. So if you have a lot of things, then this might not be a good idea to stay in this accommodation. And we have Hoom Hall, which is also in the Victoria Park campus. It's open to both undergraduate and postgraduate students. It offers single rooms with shared bathrooms. It is a catered accommodation. It is 0 0.8 miles away from campus. So 16 minutes by walking, uh, 12 minutes by bus. It's 174 pounds per week. And it offers single bedrooms with a wash basin. And there's like a pretty good amount of space for storage if you have a lot of things. And the bathrooms are shared and they also are, will be cleaned weekly. And for all the shared bathrooms, they have cleaners coming in to clean one or two times per week. So you don't actually have to clean all the dirty hair in the drain like from, uh, from everyone. So it's actually a good thing. Last but not least, we have St. Alsom Hall. So this is open to both the undergraduate students and postgraduate students. It's also in the Victoria Park campus. It offers single rooms with shared bathrooms and it is a catered accommodation. Uh, it's 1.3 miles away from the campus, so 26 minutes by walking, 18 minutes by bus. It's 171 pounds per week. I don't think I've seen this accommodation before as well, but I think if you're looking for that very um, away from the city, university, campus vibe, dorm living experience, I think Victoria Park campus might be the best way to go. But if you're looking for, you know, that big community, a lot of students going together and going to nights out and like partying, the Fallowfield campus might be the best one for you. And if you're like me, you prioritize convenience and location um, above everything, then I think the accommodations in city campus will be the best for you. So there isn't really kind of like one best accommodation that everyone should choose from. It's basically very dependent on what kind of person you are, what kind of experience you want in uni that is going to affect your choice. So this is kind of the end of the video. It's not like a deep dive into the details of each accommodation since I think it would be better for you to have an overview of all the accommodations to make a choice. And if you something caught your eye in this video, then you can actually go into the website and dive deeper into the details of that accommodation and make your informed decision. I've actually made a compiled PDF of like a comparison between prices, whether it's catered or proximate to campus. Like uh, I've compiled all accommodation into a PDF, which is also in the description below if you're interested and I hope that is useful to you too. And I hope this video has been helpful or has been fun or entertaining. And if you have any more questions about the accommodation or university life in general or things about University of Manchester or the course I have studied in, which is architecture undergraduate, uh, you can ask me in the comment section below or feel free to DM me on Instagram, things like that. I always love to hear your questions and I'll see you next time. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content and bye.